What do the following have in common? Tottenham's 3-0 loss to Arsenal in the North London Derby. Man United's 1-0 loss to Aston Villa at Old Trafford. The 16th century religious reformer Martin Luther. And Marion Cotillard's character in the 2010 movie Inception. Answer, the lingering EPL legacy of a certain Jose Mourinho. When Mourinho first arrived in the EPL, fresh from lifting the Champions League trophy at Porto, his nearly naughty's Chelsea side were a joy to watch. They oozed class, swagger, and confidence, and played with a free-flowing style that delivered goals, titles, and trophies. At Inter Milan, he wasted no time at all winning another Champions League trophy, followed by a Real Madrid tenure that produced the most goals ever in a La Liga season. So when Jose pitched up at Old Trafford in 2016, Man United fans were hopeful of a return to a Ferguson-like era, but Sadly, it wasn't to be. Shortly after his arrival in North England, where he lived for the next two years in the same small hotel room, Mourinho underwent some kind of footballing conversion. Like the Protestant reformer Luther, he was struck down by some paradigm-shifting insight that would change not only his own life forever, but also the lives of many young men throughout Europe. Turning every known football convention on its head, the special one had a new message to preach. Dominate games with gusty performances and goals galore? Mm -mm, wrong. All wrong. Victory now rested on giving the other team complete control of the game. To win, pretend you're trying to lose. Now, admittedly, there is a kind of logic here. If you make a mistake on the ball, you're vulnerable. So let the other team have possession and pounce on the break. The problem is that because he has the cunning, charisma, self-belief, and height of Napoleon, Mourinho's message was too powerful. Just like the character in Inception who, once it's been introduced, can't shake the suspicion that she's dreaming, Mourinho's win-by-losing message became a confusing and dangerous earworm. To constantly surrender possession, to sit deep and not attack, to spend 85 minutes camped in your own half, these are the hallmarks of a terrible team with terrible players. That's how you play football if you can't play football. So under Jose, it got full-on inception for Paul Pogba and Ken Shaw at Man United and Deli Alley and Harry Kane at Spurs. And on the weekend, Mourinho's voice was still there in their heads, a soothing Portuguese whisper telling them it's okay to give up possession, to roll over, to stop trying. Once you've been drilled to win the game by losing the game, both of those terms lose their meaning. And that's why, even with new managers and new players, both teams are still struggling and still haunted by a ghost of EPL past.